This video is third in a series of videos where we look at different ways to multiply large numbers. The first one we use the partial products method, the second one we use the traditional algorithm, and in this video we're going to use lattice multiplication, which is actually another algorithm. Um, it may be less common to your parents and it's probably one that you've heard before, so we're going to review the steps for multiplying large numbers using this method. Um, the basics that you need to know is that it begins with a box, one square, and you will put the factors um, on either on the top and the right hand side of the box. You will draw a diagonal line and then you'll put the product of those two factors inside the box, but it's important um, where you put the tens place and the ones place part of that factor, a part of that um, product. So the product of five times four is 20, and we want to put the number that's in the tens place in the upper left hand box here. And we want to put the number in that is in the ones place in the lower right hand box here. So this five times four, the product is 20. Two quick examples. We know the rhyme six times eight is 48. Four goes in the tens place, eight goes in the ones place. Uh, here's a tricky one, just a, a, a little bit tricky. Two times four is eight. The number eight falls in the ones place. Now we can't leave this blank. We need to know that even if eight is in the ones place, that there is something in the tens place. It's just a zero. So anytime you get a product that's less than 10, make sure you put the product here and put a zero there to hold your place in the tens place. Now that we know the basics of how to use the squares, let's um, use that to do a two digit by one digit problem. For each uh, different kind of problem, I have put a reminder up here of what the boxes are gonna look like, but sometimes fourth graders struggle with drawing the boxes, so I'm gonna do that for you each time. So if I'm trying to multiply 38 times five, I can draw one long skinny rectangle then divide it into two squares. You could also just draw two squares side by side. Then, and I'm going to go through the steps down here too. So I'm going to draw two squares side by side, or you can do a rectangle and divide it in half. Then I'm going to draw, draw diagonal lines through both squares going down in this direction. So from one corner to the other. And then I usually like to make it extend a little bit to help me know where to add. I'm going to draw a diagonal line in this square also. Put the double digit factor on the top and the single digit factor on the right. So the double digit factor is 38. The three will go on the first box and the eight will go on the second box. And then five is my single digit factor, which goes over here on the right. Now I'm gonna multiply digits and record the factors in intersecting squares. So this one is easy to see. This eight and the five intersect here in this box. Eight times five is 40. 4 in the tens place, 0 in the ones place. But then I need to look here and see that if I go down from the 3 and over from the 5, they're going to intersect in this box. So I'm going to write the product of these two factors here. 3 times 5 is 15. Now I'm going to multiply digits. Oh, that's the one I just did. Now I'm going to add diagonally and carry as needed. So I'm going to add, starting in the ones place, and add down. There's nothing to add. See, I'm adding what's inside the boxes, not what's on the outside, because those are my factors. So zero and nothing to add to it, so it's just a zero. Now in this diagonal column, I can see four and five, and I'm going to add those together to get nine. And then here's my last diagonal column. There's nothing else to add to it inside the box, so I'm really just bringing that one down. Then I'm going to read the product left to right. The number, the answer to the multiplication problem starts here and goes around this way. So it is 190, or the product of 38 and 5 is 190. Let's do a little bit bigger problem, a three digit by one digit problem. Notice that we're aiming for three boxes side by side. So when I do this kind, I like to again draw one long skinny rectangle and divide it into three boxes by drawing two lines down. Then I'm going to do my diagonal lines in the same way you just did in the last one. Then put your three digit factor on the top. 
and your single digit factor over on the right hand side. Then you're going to um, put the products of each of these numbers and eight in the, in, in the correct box. It doesn't matter which one you do first. You can start down here, start down here. Either way is fine. Seven times eight, I think five, six, seven, eight, 56 is seven times eight. Then I, the six and the eight intersect here. Six times eight is 48. And then if I count by fives, I know that five times eight is 40. Now I'm gonna do the same thing and add. This time I'm gonna see what it looks like to carry when you have to add. So I'm gonna add in this column, there's nothing but the six there. Eight plus five, notice this diagonal column here, eight plus five is 13. So this is an example of having to carry. I can't write 13 right here. I'm gonna keep the three there and carry that one in 13. Then I have three numbers now to add. One plus four plus zero is five. And then I have just four in this column. And just like before, I'm going to read my product left to right. 4,536 is the product of these two numbers. Let's try a two digit by two digit problem here. Notice that it is a um, two by two square, a bigger square, instead of being a long skinny rectangle. So you're going to start with a large square and then divide it in half and in half again, in half vertically and in half horizontally. That'll make your four boxes. Then this square you can just divide like normal. This square you can divide like normal. These two squares, you need to make sure that your line passes from the corner through the middle all the way to the opposite corner so that you get your columns lined up correctly. Now you're ready to start. Put our first, pro um, our first factor on the top. We'll put our second factor on the side. Because of the commutative property, it wouldn't matter if we switched where they go. Um, and then I'm going to fill in each of the products. So here I'm going to do 9 times 2 is 18. Here, 8 and 2 intersect in this um, box. 8 times 2 is 16. 9 and 4 intersect here intersect here to make 36, and 8 and 4 intersect here to make 32. Then I add diagonally just as before. So this would be just a 6, 8, and so I'm going to add these three numbers, 2, 3, and 8. 8 and 2 make 10, plus 3 is 13. So I'm going to put down the 3 and remember to carry the 1 into the next diagonal column. And then I know that 3 plus 6 plus 1 is going to make 10 plus one more is 11, so I'm going to put down the one and carry a one into the next column, and then this is one plus one makes two. So the product of these two would be, reading left to right, 2,136. And finally, let's use lattice to do a three digit by two digit problem. Again, look, this is a long skinny rectangle with now two rows, one on top of each other. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller than I did the three by one digit. And I'm going to divide it into thirds and then in half. And again, the first box and the last box, just going to divide like normal. But each of these other ones, I need to make sure that I pass through this middle point as I go down to the bottom. So top, middle, bottom on both of those. Then I'm going to place my three digit factor up top and my two digit factor on the side and then find all of my intersecting spots. 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 3 is 12, 9 times 3 is 27. Again, it wouldn't matter the order. I could do them out of order different than this. 7 times 1 is 7. Remember to put a zero in the tens place when you have a product less than 10. 4 times 1 is 4. 9 times 1 is 9. So each of those had a zero in the 10 spot in that particular box. Then this would be just a 7 here. In this column, 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5. 9 plus 4 is 13. It's going to put down the 3 and carry that extra 1. 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 0 is 9, and then I just have a 2 in this last column. So then I read um, left to right, 
29,357 is my product of these two factors.